Now, are there any are, are there any competitive people in the house? Any competitive people in these 195 countries? Oh, good. Competition in Latin means to conspire together. If we're going to compete, we're going to conspire together to make each other better. If I'm going to play basketball against you, I want to push you as hard as I can so you get better. I want you to push me as hard as you can to make me better. So we're going to have a little competition of energy all week long. We're going to give out some prizes. We're going to look for the people who have the most energy here. And so I want you to shake your body out. And I want you to try something. I want you, if there's someone else in the room, I want you to point at them and go, I own you. And if there's nobody in your room, look at the camera and look for somebody else on the screen or me, whatever you want, and go, I own you. But say it like you mean it with authority and playfulness. Go ahead, try it. Come on there, Chris Pinatata. You can do it. Come on, I'm watching you guys. Do it again. I own you. Come on, Michael Quick. I own you. One more time like you mean it. I own you, baby. All right, now shake your body out. And when you say I own you, what you're really saying is I challenge you, you low energy person. And if there's not somebody with you, you're doing it virtually. And here's what we're going to do. For 30 seconds, I'm going to ask you to use your body like a little kid, like you're celebrating like, like never before. Not like a boring adult. Why would you just jump in shit? <laughs> I'm talking about like a little kid who's playful. Who's ever thought playful as a little kid? How many of you as a little kid ever did this? Did you ever like walk into the living room, you're walking like this, and all of a sudden you're a little kid and go, whoa! <laughs> and walk off like nothing's happened. Who's ever had a kid do that or been that kid? Say I. Good. I want you to imagine using more energy, your voice, your body, celebrating like a little kid, like you just had the greatest victory of your life. We're going to do it for 30 seconds, and it'll wake your energy up. If you want to go for it, raise your hand, say I. Say I. If you feel stronger, make your fist and say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Awesome. Okay, so let's shift gears now. So what are we all dealing with? We're dealing with something we call problems, right? How many got some freaking problems, many of which had nothing to do with you even, that were created by changes in the government, changes in the environment? Who's got some challenges to deal with out there? Say I. Say I. So I remember years ago, I was 31 years old. I was 32 maybe. And I got a phone call from a man named Norman Vincent Peale. And Norman... If you don't know him, wrote the original book called The Power of Positive Thinking. He was a religious leader, and he's like, the world needs a different mindset because we're all finding what's wrong. By the way, I have a simple phrase I remind myself and everybody else. What's wrong is always available, isn't it? There's always something wrong if you look for it, but so is what's right. What's right is always available as well, and training your brain to do that is so critical because otherwise problems will overwhelm you, especially during certain times like winter when several challenges happen once, financial, emotional, your body, your family. That's a winter. The thing about self-discipline is that it is necessary for everything you do in your life. You have to be self-disciplined. Working out, working out, you gotta work out every day. You gotta stay in shape. If you wanna, I mean, if you don't stay in shape, you die. When I'm working out, I always do one extra rep, one extra set, because it, it's a promise I kept to myself. But, but working out might not be a priority for every single day because you've got things going on in your business world and with your family and all that. So guess what? It's a priority for my life, so I do it in the morning before my day even starts. If you change your mindset, and really focus it on what discipline really is, you start to welcome discipline. You welcome self-discipline into your life. Most people don't reach their dream, not because of failure. Most people don't live their dream because they give up. You see, it's not the failure that stops us, but that most stop at their first failure. Those who succeed don't stop at one failure. They don't stop at 10 failures. They don't stop at 100, 1,000, or a million. They say, this is my goal, and I will do whatever it takes to achieve it. I will learn the lessons from any failure. I will learn faster. I will work harder. I will work smarter. And I will not quit until my dream is a reality. That's the difference between success and failure. Rise and shine. 6 a.m. and your hand can't make it to the alarm clock before the voices in your head start telling you that it's too early, too dark, and too cold to get out of bed. 
Aching muscles lie still in rebellion, pretending not to hear your brain commanding them to move. A legion of voices are shouting their unanimous permission for you to hit the snooze button and go back to dreamland. But you didn't ask their opinion. The voice you've chosen to listen to is one of defiance. A voice that says there was a reason you set that alarm in the first place. So sit up, put your feet on the floor, and don't look back because we've got work to do. Why is it so important to get up early? Some of y'all don't want it. That's why you ain't got it. I don't sleep when I'm tired. I sleep when I'm done. The average millionaire wakes up at 4 a.m. So it started off 4 o'clock in the morning where I'd start and I'd start with my cardio. Then I'd have breakfast and then I would go to the gym and then I'd go to work. Welcome to the grind. For what is each day but a series of conflicts between the right way and the easy way? 10,000 streams fan out like a river delta before you, each one promising the path of least resistance. Thing is, you're headed upstream. And when you make that choice, when you decide to turn your back on what's comfortable and safe and what some would call common sense, well, that's day one. From there, it only gets tougher. So just make sure this is something you want because the easy way out will always be there, ready to wash you away. I feel pain. I hurt. I open my eyes. I crave victory. I do not give up. I feel no fear. I fear no man. I create. I conquer. I hold power. Make a choice. Just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. We can't have another bad year. You've got to get to the point where enough is enough. Much easier to come up with excuses why you can't do it. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. Do what is easy. Complain about your situation, your circumstances. Surrender and give up on your dreams. Become depressed and bitter and angry. Anybody can do that. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard. I'm not coach right now. I'm your conscience. You're doing a fight between will and skill. I say will first because that's what you are. You locked and loaded with skill. You practicing every day. You putting in your work. You buying everything. You making an investment. You living your dream. You walking like your dream. You surrounding yourself around your dream. You got mentors, everything. You putting your work and you got your skill. Now it's a test of your will. It's a mindset thing you in right now. It's a mindset thing. Because your challenge, your challenge ain't moving your mountain. It's not moving. You don't feel like you're making any progress. You're not physically moving when you see everything else around you, other people around you moving. You're not making progress. You're in the test of your will right now. Because life says it has a little more test for you. It's no different because we messed up, because you fell off the wagon, you've been on alcohol and drugs, and you gave up on life, and you dropped out, or you've been to jail one time, two times, three times, and you really want your dream to happen, and you're putting in your work, and nothing's happening yet. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. It's supposed to be that way. When you embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. But when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. Some of you, are, your priorities are out of line and you're partying right now and you broke. You broke in your relationships, you broke in your health, like for real, you broke it, you broke, you broke. And you're broke because you're not getting the eye, you're not understanding the eye. I told you last week, it is about an invention, an idea. If you, would, if you would get off the couch, stop playing video games, stop murmuring, stop complaining, stop going to a job you don't like, you're about to go to a whole other level in every area of your life. I'm talking about the I am. I am.